Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for a Libra. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. Thanks for dropping in. Hope all is well in your world this week. If you're looking for a single specific love reading, you can check those out in my playlist. I put them up every Monday. I also finished putting up the three month ahead energy read, so you can check those out if you haven't done so. All right. Libra. It's all about you right now, Libra. Does Libra need to know the overall energy surrounding them? We have empty well, time to replenish. So some of you, it's time to take a break to replenish. Okay, your well is empty. I feel like you need a break here. Yeah, you need a little break, a little healing time or just a break. Could be from work, could be from anything. Uh, benefactor, Grace and Jenna generosity yeah so i feel it's an energy of the benefactor of goodwill you see the mice and somebody's been kind of chipping away at your generosity here you have no more to give so you may be feeling that way you have nothing to give but i feel the energy of being graceful so some of you have been very gracious a kind a very generous and now the well is empty so feel it's time to replenish okay yeah libra could be someone around you as well first breath so a beginner's mind yeah so it's energy of making sure you refill that well you heal clear out negative energy and thoughts okay because you can definitely see someone chipping away here you know so yeah somebody's definitely been the benefactor of your goodwill you have no more to give so it is an energy of the first breath there is an energy of a time for a new beginning here so lovely and we have the lost compass yeah so somebody here lacked integrity you may have someone who exploited you or used you in a way where you were very generous and kind this person could be looking at it yeah, but i feel here this is yourself the first breath you see starting new here uh, getting back so you definitely may have lost your way maybe you lost a lot of money or you know this is i feel it's a, definitely feels really emotional but I definitely feel like you're going to be getting back on track. Someone here lacked integrity. So you're definitely going to have learned something from this. Yeah. Someone's definitely, yeah, you got an emperor energy. So this is the person, yeah, this is someone kind of looking at the past. See, I feel like this person, whoever it is, they know. This is an emperor. Now, this is often an emperor who doesn't always use their integrity. They've lost their way. You see, so I see this energy of this new beginning. I feel like uh, this person may be coming towards you, maybe being more uh, gracious, more generous, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what this emperor is. This could be a new person as well. Yeah, so there's a lot of kindness and compassion. Someone lost their way. They lacked integrity. Okay, so now it could be just somebody who just lost their way and it could be anything. But sometimes people with a lot of power have a tendency to do that. So it's about being kind and compassionate. Okay, so you may have a choice. This is something from the past. This You have no more to give this person, I feel. And honestly, you have something new. I actually feel it. Uh, you have an energy here. Yeah, something is finished. See, it's done. It's, it's done here. <laughs> See, that just came out right at the right time. Yeah, this is the, it's done. So this is a cycle for yourself. So you have somebody new here. Yeah, look at that. Now, I feel you've got a person here who's very kind and compassionate. Somebody who wants love. Somebody emotionally mature. Now, so it's somebody who's planning for success, taking their time. You see? Yeah. And this could be yourself as well here, Libra. You could be moving away from this person. But I feel like you have somebody here who wants to have success. Um, they're looking at the situation a little apprehensive. We know the King of Cups is sometimes a person who plays it a little safe until they're sure. They may have um, be the person who's um, had an issue with somebody here. They may have lost a lot. Somebody may have chipped away at all their kindness and generosity, you see. So it could be an emperor here. Yeah, it could be the same person, but I feel it's somebody who wants to have success, Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So it has to do with possibly something financial. Someone may have lost a lot of money. Uh, whatever it is, it's finished. With every ending comes a new beginning, you see? So, yeah. 
I feel like it could be the same person, but we'll see. It may have nothing to do with you, but it has to do with the Wheel of Fortune. It has to do with the timing. Okay, it has to do with uh, the abundance starting to flow, things going in this person's favor. So I feel this is something that will go in your favor. You may be the one who pushed the stop button here, okay, if it has to do with you. But I feel this is somebody who's healing and releasing that, getting back to integrity. Yeah, they may have lost their way or they've lost something because of someone else. So actually, I should grab a few more here. There's room for another one or two cards. Whoops, there we go. Ah, the devil. Yeah, see, this is somebody who was doing some not very nice things, uh, behaving in ways, unhealthy situations. Could be somebody who was obsessed with money. Uh, the devil is often obsessed with money. So I feel like there's somebody here who wasn't, definitely wasn't being very nice here. Uh, this is definitely somebody who I feel just wanted everything to go their way or the highway. Yeah, this is a person who definitely did not treat you right. Wow, this is heavy. I'm almost scared to go into this. I don't want to trigger anybody, but it doesn't always have to be huge. But yeah, five of wands, obstacles, challenges, conflict, inner inner battles. This person's definitely somebody who's overcome a lot of obstacles. Now, it may have nothing to do with you. So don't take this upon somebody that's around you. Now, a little Capricorn energy here. So, yeah, someone may have been a Capricorn energy. This person, this may have been an unhealthy situation, you know, kind of a toxic situation. So it looks like you're overcoming some obstacles. Okay. I, it, I, I feel like it's this person, to be honest. Someone obsessed with money, the Wheel of Fortune. But it's definitely someone here who could be crazy about you and they kind of lost their way. We'll see. Tell me about the empty well. Yeah, see, it's energy of waiting. See, it's where the ship has sailed. I feel like it's too little too late. I'm not so sure you're going to go for this. I really don't. I feel there's competition too. It could be someone who's crazy about you. There may be competition. I feel like you've got someone new here because I feel this is over. It looks like it could be a Scorpio energy for some of you as well. Right, Libra? Let's have a look at the benefactor. Yeah. It's like an Empress energy being great. See, it says, I feel like you have nothing more to give. You waited, I feel, for this person. You were gracious and generous with your time, your energy. Uh, so I feel somebody was maybe a little exploited here. See, knowing when to move away, someone wasn't reciprocating. So I feel like you were very generous to someone or they were generous to someone else, hoping uh, that someone would reciprocate. But because uh, it doesn't have to be, and like I say, it sounds really dramatic here, but yeah, there's definitely obstacles and challenges fighting on unhealthy situation or relationship. Somebody wasn't giving, doing their fair share. Uh, somebody was taking advantage of someone's kindness and generosity. So it could be this person coming back in more generous, <clears throat> excuse me, because the King of Cups is sometimes somebody who's much more generous because they want things to be successful. But there is this energy of apprehension. Someone is looking at the details, hoping it's successful. They're hoping things go their way, you see. So we'll see. Tell me about the first breath. Hoping it's someone new. Somebody here. Somebody was being immature. So this could be a somebody here was being immature here. They weren't reciprocating or they didn't have anything to give. But it's a person who's definitely, it's all about me. See, someone that's all about me, me, me. You know, focused on themselves, being immature. So it's the beginner's mind. Now it could be this is, uh, the timing may have been off. For some of you, it may not be, like I say, as um, uh, drastic. Because I feel like you were waiting for something. You were being generous. You were giving. You see, and this person wasn't reciprocating. They weren't giving anything. Maybe they had just started a business. Maybe they had nothing to give. Uh, here for a good time, not a long time. So this is why I feel like something is finished here. Um, yeah, so you're no longer indulging this person. See, they this is someone who offered one little cup, kept everything to themselves. So I feel they were quite selfish obsessed with money something to do with money definitely um but i feel like you're no longer indulging this person you're no longer giving him anything yeah you were gracious and kind this is someone who was chipping away at your energy wasting your time i feel like you're no longer wasting any time you're not waiting okay the em empress is no longer waiting so you've got this is yourself where you've taken a little pause Okay, so you're replenishing your energy. So this is that healing energy of the Empress, because I do see that three there. Yeah, see, being 
being a little bit of a pushover, you know, kind of uh, offering that cup to somebody, hoping that they would reciprocate, see, that I feel it's energy you're no longer, you were indulging them, you were giving. So it's about taking responsibility for your own action, your own part, but you are in the Empress energy now. So you were no longer giving. You see, you're no longer going to indulge them. This is, if anyone wants to come towards you, they need to indulge you. There's the king. <laughs> see you're about to get something you want here now i don't know if this is somebody who was younger or it's just another person so because it looks like it's finished i see a little scorpio there yeah see it's about justice and balance somebody wasn't treating you right they weren't being fair and i do see someone looking at that but this is you doing what's right for you you see justice and balance just doing what's right for you. Someone didn't come in right. So, mm hmm But, I, I, you know, honestly, I feel like someone was focused on themselves here. To be honest, I have to be fair about this energy. This is someone who may have started a business, just started something. Maybe they didn't have a lot to give. Their pride may have gotten in the way. Now, most definitely, I can see that. Okay, just to be fair, because it has to do with being fair. Yeah, but I see it ending. It's it's done. And it could be the end of a relationship, a marriage, a commitment. Mm -hmm. Could be somebody who wasn't ready for something new. They may, you know, like I say, they uh, may have just ended a relationship. They didn't have a lot to give. They're, you know, maybe, like I say, they may have gotten a divorce. They didn't have much to give. So, like I say, it's about being fair. And it goes both ways. So, let's have a look at the emperor. Who is this emperor? So someone who's definitely, things are definitely going in their favor. They, uh, If it is to do with money, they've replenished that. Yeah, see, replenishing their heart, soul, their, yeah, we, this is somebody who was holding back their feelings. They didn't have, this is someone who didn't have a lot to give. So it's possible they had just ended a relationship. They were playing it safe, being cautious, but too cautious. Okay, yeah, they didn't offer too much. They were keeping all their feelings to themselves because of, I feel this is someone who may have just entered a relationship. So, yeah, but some of you, it's you ending this, no longer giving. Uh, the King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups and what do they want with Libra? Yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, see, this is someone who's going through those. Somebody who's a little, a little bit controlling. Somebody's leveled up. They're growing up, you see. Uh, this is a person who often has tendency to be very much in control of everything their way, possibly even just being immature, or they had just started something they were really passionate about. Uh, it, it's There's so many energies here. Let's have a look at the Knight of Pentacles. That's the one. <laughs> Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, cooperation and compromise compatibility. So you may have a choice here too, whether someone's right for you or not. You may end a situation because someone's not reciprocating. So you've been kind of waiting. You were showering abundance. I can see it, but you're no longer giving. That's your own energy here. Uh, the Emperor is someone holding back. Then you got someone who knows what they want. Somebody here. I feel like you got someone who's crazy about you, but I do see competition, obstacles, and challenges, fighting an unhealthy, toxic relationship. So like I say, to be fair, I feel this person is someone who was in a really unhealthy situation. They had nothing to give. They may have started something when they shouldn't. But I do see the energy of going down a new path. It has to do with cooperation and compromise. See, this is somebody here who is kind of growing up a little bit. Or you just have someone here who's more compatible. Yeah. I feel like it's this person. Yeah. See, here you are cutting somebody out, Libra. See? Somebody moving too slow, dragging their feet. Uh, definitely they were focused more on their finances. I can see it here. So, yeah. It could be somebody who just didn't have anything to give at the time, you know? Their pride may have gotten the way. This so is somebody with a lot of pride. Okay. Yeah, somebody who likes to be a good provider, very uh, family-oriented, very kind and compassionate, very nurturing. So this is quite interesting. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So it has to do with compromise. You may cut someone out because they're unwilling to cooperate and compromise. But you're, one thing I'll tell you, you're no pushover. See, this is where you're a bit of a pushover, sacrificing and giving, uh, giving more than you're receiving. See, being too generous with your time, your energy, maybe even your money. So really, you know, be discerning, be wise here. Someone's dragging their feet. So that's where I feel like you're just ready to go off on a new path. It's an energy of someone who's probably just not compatible. Yeah. 
Yeah, caught in someone out because they're a little bit of a player. So you're figuring things out. So it's an energy of someone fixing a situation. So, uh, you know, somebody who's being a little bit sneaky, being a little bit of a player. So be careful of this person who comes back in, tries to sneak their way back in. They want things to go in their favor, but you're being wise. You're looking at the facts and the figures. So there could be something here to do with a relationship where someone was... You know, like I say, <laughs> something to do with money, okay? Mm -hmm. But I feel like you're going to look at it. You're seeing it. You're going to figure it out, okay? This is yourself. You want to win. But this is also a person who wants to win. I think there's someone here who was a little bit cruel, uh, to be honest. Yeah. So what it is telling you to watch your words, though, okay? Uh, definitely, you know, because I do see the energy where you're maybe calling someone a player, you know, or telling someone to go figure out what it is they want. Because um, you're looking at the facts. It's telling you to just look at the facts to be fair. Okay? Um, mm -hmm. Somebody wasn't fair. I feel they know it too. They weren't playing fair. Yeah, so there it is. So I see three people being involved here. Um, now, there could be friends and family, a cycle ending here. This could be somebody who, like I say, it's somebody who's got to figure out what it is they want, what makes them happy. So that's where I feel it. Some people take a little longer to figure out what makes them happy, but I do see the player energy. Uh, somebody with an ego. It's definitely an ego energy and even a little cruel at times, but yeah, this is somebody very unhealthy. Um, the uh, devil energy, toxic energy, maybe they drink too much, uh, whatever the situation, sometimes a nine of cups. It's someone who's not showing their true self, wearing a mask. They're hiding behind a mask, you see. Uh, but it's also sometimes someone who, who drinks a lot, indulges too much. Okay, so you may have ended that or they were in a situation like that. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. So it's friends and family. This is a cycle ending uh, I feel, see, transformation, see, there's some kind of transition period here where you're replenishing. Uh, I do see the death card ending it, see, uh, breaking free, setting yourself free. This is often a person who just comes in when they want attention. They have a huge ego. In fact, they can even be cruel if they don't get what they want. See, when you stop giving, they can be a little cruel, but they are leveling up. I can see this person leveling up. You see, and I feel it has to do with owning the way they behaved. OK, because you can see the emperor here. This is someone keeping their feelings to themselves here. See, offering one cup, nothing more. It's, they're selfish. It's all about them. You see, they weren't seeing how you feel. Um, so, yeah, I feel this is an energy where you're breaking free from the situation. Um, you're definitely moving forward. This is someone who was chasing financial success as well. Uh, but this is somebody who may have been uh, trying to play little games, playing little games here, you know. And it doesn't mean they're a player, but they're playing games, you see, hoping that you'll chase them. Uh, so it's often a person who really just wants to win. And they play little games because they're trying to figure out how you feel. They're trying to figure out how to um, flip things around in their favor. But yeah, cycle is ending. Things are about to go in your favor here. Yeah, because you're flipping it around. I'd watch out too with anyone who, little gaslighting where they try to blame you too. So for some of you, but I, I feel this, this ending, this transition, okay? Something is, you're, you're, fit, you're cutting somebody out here, definitely, because you're figuring them out, okay? This is somebody who needs to go figure out what they want. They need to do themselves. So I actually feel... Somebody here may be drinking a lot or have some um, unhealthy habits, okay? Things that uh, create a lot of conflict and chaos, a lot of fighting, a lot of drama, you see? So uh, this is generally somebody who fights for what they want. And that's what I feel. Like you want someone who knows what they want. They come in to fight for what they want. Uh, but I feel a lot of drama here. So tell me about this devil. Yeah, see, he's holding back, not budging. See, this person's obsessed with money. I feel they have a health, unhealthy attachment to their money. It's also someone who keeps things close to their chest. They refuse to budge. They're very stubborn, very selfish. And they're, they know it too. I can tell you, they know it. Okay, they know it. They're trying to figure out how, this person's trying to figure out how to fix this. They're trying to figure out how to fix this, see? This is somebody with a sense of pride. Now, I actually feel their pride got in the way, especially if they had entered a relationship for some of you with that scenario where uh, they gave everything they had to give. Now, I see a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. They may have had a Scorpio, somebody who was maybe manipulating emotionally, 
um, kind of uh, drained their energy because they may, may have been kind of waiting for something as well here. So, you know, so what wasting time, wasting energy. Yeah. So I feel it's definitely someone who's holding on to something unhealthy, possibly baggage. Um, somebody who's definitely looking, taking stock of their life. So it's an energy of change. This person may be coming back around. I see obstacles and challenge to overcome. Yeah. Someone here wants to come in and fight for something here. Uh, this is definitely someone who's figuring out how they feel. So I actually feel there's someone who has feelings here. But most of you, I feel like you've ended it with this person. I actually feel like you have something new. Okay. Yeah. And it's possible you have someone who was here for a good time, not a long time. They may have uh, wasted your time, left you waiting while they actually started something new. <laughs> you see? Yeah. So, you know, I feel as you're just breaking free. I actually feel like you're moving towards. You're in protective mode. You're protecting yourself. If they do come back around, I don't think you're going to budge or give in to this person. I, I still think this is someone who probably could be selfish. But you have someone new here. I see three people. I don't know if you've had, um, you know, you've got a, a, a series of three people that you're dealing with here. Or there's just too many people involved. Tell me about the five of wands. This is feeling on top of the world, breaking free, change. See, I feel like you're moving on. You're not going to give in to this person. I think it's over, um, this one person. I feel like, yeah, see, being single. And it could be this person too, you know, chasing success. They have an ego. Uh, they want you to chase them. Um, they want to be single. They want to keep everything to themselves. So there's a lot of drama, a lot of chaos and conflict. And there's other people involved here. So this person who's involved with other people. Yeah, I, I feel as though some of you, it is a divorce situation where you're no longer giving. Um, and uh, I, I feel as though you're telling this person they need to go figure out what it is they want or go fix themselves. Because I see this as the fixer-upper. Some of you may have some fixer-uppers or you, you know... Um, things that have gone and this has been a journey i feel like you've been on this journey and i feel the wheel of fortune this is where the buck stops here where you free yourself i feel like you're moving on and becoming single i feel like you're i do see a lot of independent energy but yeah let's see what is this king of who is this king of wands who's the king of wands here yeah, see, somebody wants to offer you a partnership. They're offering you the cup of love. It's connected to the King of Cups. So you've got a, so you've got someone who held back their feelings. Now, it could be emotional manipulation, somebody playing little mind games, manipulating you emotionally. So, but it does look like you've ended it. So, yeah, they're just, I feel like it's this, it's this person. See, you've got some kind of new beginning. This is where you're ready. I feel yourself for something new. And, uh, I feel like you're no longer going to sacrifice and give, though. You're no longer going to um, indulge somebody or anybody because this is where you have changed. It's a breakthrough, you see. This is where you, you free yourself. It's over. It's done. And I feel like you got, uh, you may meet somebody new here, and that's where I feel that things are about to flip in your favor. This cycle's over. The new cycle's beginning. Getting out, meeting new people, getting a lot of attention. This is somebody who's not giving you attention. They're giving it to other people. If they don't get what they want from you, they get it somewhere else. They withhold feelings and emotions. It's emotional manipulation. So uh, this is somebody who likes the chase. So I don't think you're chasing this person. In fact, uh, I feel as though you're moving on here. And I feel like you have uh, other people around you. I feel like you're going to start getting a lot of attention. I feel like you're overcoming a lot of this. Obstacles and challenges. Yeah, you're grounding yourself. You're being practical. So you may have spent a lot of money, been very gracious and generous with this person. They definitely were not generous with you, their time, their energy. And so I feel like you're replenishing. I feel like you have no more to give this person. Um, but I do think you need to heal, and I do feel like you have the empresses here. So this is where you're very gracious, kind, you're grounding yourself, you're being more sensible, okay? So I feel like you have love coming in. I do feel some of you, I feel some of you are more focused on your financial success too, because you're kind of doing what's right for you here. But I do see you meeting someone new. Um, definitely, because this, this is the transformation where you free yourself from this person. Uh, because you've figured it out. You, you, you're realizing uh, this person is um, unhealthy. They're, they, play they like to play games. They love the chase, you see. And it is man emotional manipulation. But they may try to come back in possible to see. Okay. 
um, if this person, if you'll give them attention. I, it's the Wheel of Fortune's there. So this is why I feel like you're breaking free. It's a breakthrough. Yeah, and it's a sense of freedom, you know, where you're freeing yourself from this. And I feel like you're going to go out and get some attention. You're going to get it elsewhere. Yeah. Someone who drags their feet probably doesn't want to commit, but you have this energy here. So uh, it's telling you to be very wise. Um, definitely take the time to figure out how you feel. Take the time to um, question someone to make sure they're not a player, because I do feel like you're in protective mode. Okay, kind of protecting yourself, especially if you've had someone who's exploited you or taken advantage of you, your time, your energy, your money. Okay, so I feel like you'll be fine. I see you focused on your finances. There is some change feeling on top of the world, but this is something I feel that's changed you forever. You're definitely more sensible. Um, you're definitely in single mode. You're making plans for the future. You're preparing yourself. So you're getting prepared um for this change okay if this person comes towards you you're prepared <laughs> to let them have it so but yeah i feel like there's competition this person's probably looking to see they're probably trying to figure out who you're giving your attention to you see so somebody who could be i feel very arrogant okay i gotta be honest they're not just um you know it's just not just an ego they do the person is there's a difference between arrogance and pride Okay, some people have uh, a healthy pride and that's where I feel like this person is. They have a healthy pride. The other person, that's all about them and they can be very cruel, very, very arrogant. So, yeah, I, I feel like this is something that's changed you forever. And I feel as though um, this energy of feeling on top of the world, okay, this growth and abundance coming towards you. Uh, you're definitely in protective mode. Some of you are just saving your money, holding on to your money, but you are going to protect yourself, okay? So from any more unhealthy situations, because you're, you're wiser here because you look at the facts now, you see? Yeah, the Queen of Cups is often someone so loving and nurturing and caring. And I feel that's your energy, but it could be for some of you, you can flip this around because the world is here. This is where things turn around, especially with the wheel by it, where it actually could be them who went through it. So, but see, I, there's that grace and generosity. This is where you um, make somebody feel really comfortable, okay, uh, where they you're very gracious you want them to feel comfortable uh, to come towards you but i feel like you're just kind of comfortable in your own skin you're just kind of good in single mode but there is love coming in there is somebody here who wants to offer you something stable this is somebody who's reliable stable dependable so see there's a difference between um, pride and arrogance here this is somebody who's very arrogant uh, i see taurus um uh, Scorpio, I definitely see a lot of Scorpio uh, with this person, a um, little of that Mars energy, but Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's just their energy. Now this is a person, like I say, I feel they have that cruel streak, they're just a player, uh, they, they like to, it's emotional manipulation, and I feel it's a very, very unhealthy situation, but you're free, okay, moving on. If they come back around, you're prepared, you're ready, you can overcome this, you're, you will stand up for yourself, there's no doubt there. <laughs> yeah, so, but I do see some of you, the scenario where it's them who went through it with someone younger, uh, somebody who may have been a Scorpio <laughs> as well, so, yeah, stick to the facts, look at the facts, okay, um, but there it is, there's the success, the aha moment where the light bulb goes off, yeah. So I definitely see you're going to have success breaking free, okay? Uh, if you have someone who comes after you suddenly starts chasing you, it's because you're successful. Just watch it. But I feel like you got a person, win or lose, they're coming towards you, offering you this cup. Um, this is somebody who uh, will offer the cup, maybe wear their heart on their sleeve. They're reliable, dependable. They are uh, definitely an energy of somebody who has your best interest as well. But it goes both ways too. So, because I, you know, I mean, it could be an energy of projection here, but uh, I feel with this three of pentacles, I feel like in the three of cups, I feel there's three people and I feel like you're cutting someone out because they're not compatible. They're not willing to cooperate or compromise uh, and they're sneaky. So, there you are, Libra. Yeah, you're wise. You're seeing the facts. You're figure, you've are figured. figured them out. You've got this, okay? So, 
Yeah, you might even just call them a player or just say, hey, I figured out what it is you're up to. <laughs> Whatever, you're calling them out. You're speaking your truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. We'll wrap this up. Yeah, you're just, I feel like you're just going to, you know, stay in single mode. If anyone comes towards you, I feel like you are gracious and kind, but it, it's telling you to, uh, does this make you feel comfortable? There's someone here who makes you feel uncomfortable and that's what you're going to figure out. It doesn't feel right. Okay. So there it is. The cycle. This is over. It's done. You're ending it. You're cutting this person off. Um, it's finished things start to flip in your favor that's why you've got this good person here now for those of you where you've been waiting and waiting and waiting um, and you got this person that's on and off and on and off and you're waiting I feel like it's where you've been indulging them see it's about this is someone who's not being fair okay and that's why you'll end it but uh, there is this new beginning here so let's have a look and see I want to see if I can connect these two together I just want to make sure yeah, see, someone who's not ready for the responsibility of a relationship. They have a lot of burdens. They have nothing to give. Uh, maybe they're paying alimony, um, you know, so here for a good time, not a long time energy. But, yeah, it could be someone who just started a business. They have a lot on their plate. Uh, maybe some baggage. Whatever the situation, yeah. So you're looking at the details. So it's telling you to just ground yourself and look at the situation. Yeah, it's about being fair, not just, you know, it's about you too being fair because it does go both ways. So, like I say, it could be somebody who's gone through that. Yeah, I don't see mirroring or anything here, though, so um, I don't really see any of that. I just see someone here uh, who wants to have success, and then you've got someone who's dragging their feet. You see, uh, they, it's somebody who comes back around after a long period of time. You see, hoping to have success that things go in their favor. I don't feel it because <laughs> you've got new where things are actually going in your favor for real, right? Not this person. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, They may have had feelings. Yeah, see, it's a choice. You've got two here. So you've got a choice between two. Okay, this person may have had a choice between you and someone else as well, but uh, I think you're going to make the right choice, and I do think you're going to look at it carefully. If it doesn't feel right, then you're just going to stay in single mode till the right person comes in. You want someone who comes in to fight for you, to show you uh, that they mean business, and that's the person, win or lose, that's the king of wands. So you've got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or Scorpio, more than likely Sag and Scorpio. So if you've got fire signs around you, now, that might be their energies, but there you are, releasing things that no longer serve. You know your worth and your value. See, this is about value, uh, looking out for yourself. But I feel this person's definitely going to come in. There's some kind of truth. You're seeing the truth about this other person, you see? Now, yeah, it could be another person in the social circle who may tell you the truth about this other person. Okay, it's very possible that's what's coming in. But is it, it is a kind and compassionate person, someone stable, reliable. They're going to show you they're stable and reliable. Uh, they're financially stable. Uh, this is someone looking for a partner, you see. This is what you want, and this is about marriage material. So tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you've got a choice. There's two here, and they, this King of Emperor has a choice between two as well. So there it is. This is someone, see, leaving the past in the past. You're going down a new path. This person's coming towards you. So they will approach you. Yeah, they definitely will approach you. This is someone at a crossroads in their life. They're ready to commit uh, or ready to go down that path. They want things to go in their favor. So they're going to be emotionally uh, available, very generous, very kind. They want success. They're going to give you a lot of attention because they want it to be. That's when you see the truth. That's what Spirit's telling you to look at here. Okay, Know when to end it. Know when to break free. Um, when you fall in love with somebody, that's when you actually feel the freest. So this has been a journey. You've been on quite a journey here. See, you've, you've had a tough time in your love life. It's been a journey, but I feel like you're about to have uh, what it is you want. No more unhealthy relationships for you. No more drama. Okay, no more fighting. Uh, I feel like the obstacles, whatever the challenges, things that you've been going through are almost over. You're releasing things and people, situations that no longer serve. You see, this is you reaching for the stars. Uh, somebody here adores you. 
A little Aquarius. They may have a little air in their chart. It could be yourself as well. Yeah, see, you've got a king of pentacles. Somebody stable, grounded, just like yourself, the power couple. Someone's coming in to take action. Now, they could be a business owner, someone creative. Um, and I feel it has to do with compatibility you know, here too. But you see, you've got this opportunity. Now, this could be an invitation. You may meet this person. You may decide to meet them somewhere, meeting in the middle. But this is something that could go to the next level okay with this person this person no i feel like they're back and forth between you and someone else they have two people they're connected they may have feelings for both of you uh, but that's i feel it's very unhealthy uh, the devil um, it's an obsession maybe you were obsessed with this person or vice versa but i feel someone was does a lot of drinking and i feel like they're not showing their true self see there it is Somebody contemplating their life path. See, this is someone who spends a lot of time alone, drinking alone, contemplating their life path. But you're leaving this behind, you see. You're looking back at this. This is not the one. This isn't the right person. See, they're hiding something, not showing their true self. Very secretive. They only have another person. Yeah. Or they're just obsessed with somebody else where things didn't work out. Like I say, the scenario where they didn't heal, they gave to someone who took advantage, emotional advantage of them, you see. So that's where I feel, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that birth is something new. It's coming here. And I feel like you are definitely working it through. So it's an energy of where you trust your intuition, your inner wisdom, you're being wise, where you just know. This is where you know. You'll figure things out quicker. You've learned here, you see. You're figuring things out quicker. You know when to put a, put, push the stop button. When someone starts to drag their feet, they don't want to spend time with you, where you only see them once in a while, you know, once a month, every 10 days. You never hear from this person other than that. So it's thank you, but no thank you. Uh, it's an energy where someone's, you know, drained, you know. Yeah. You see? Yeah. It's the moon. This is There's going to be a difference here between these two people. I feel they're kind of the same, but one of them is more mature. One of them is ready. One of them is not. They might be younger, too. So uh, someone who's just younger and not ready. So there it is, your choice in love. Making choices. Thanks, but no thanks to someone. You might not be sure for a bit. Like I say, you might not be sure. You need to replenish. You need a little time. Um, especially if you've just yourself have ended a, a relationship or a marriage, you need a little time to focus on your money, uh, to focus on you. But you're definitely in that independent, uh, preparing and planning for your future. So, yeah, someone here you do not see a future with, and there's someone here. This is your hopes and dreams as a partner, see? And the power couple, someone is feeling the same way about you. But I feel like it's a little bit in the distance yet. Okay, uh, I feel like it's energy of releasing this unhealthy energy and overcoming a few obstacles here, uh, possibly some financial obstacles, but I, I feel like you will be very comfortable. Join the comforts of home, looking out for yourself. You'll have everything you need. Uh, I feel like you won't be overly generous and giving too much to anyone either. They need to meet you in the middle. So... Yeah, so you're looking back at all this hard work. You're almost there. You're almost there, Libra. Okay, it's telling you not to give up. Uh, I feel that there's somebody here who's kind of gone through some of the same things, but that's your energy, feeling a little beat up. You're almost there. One more wand to go, okay, uh, and success. So, yeah, and it could be too where you tell you may tell somebody, hey, I just need a little bit more time to replenish, you see, Tell me about the three, and I'm going to wrap this up. The three of wands. Just have a boo. I want to see who's the... Whoops. There you are. No more waiting. Leaving something behind. So you have another person coming in to go down this path with you. Someone is about to take a leap of faith, win or lose. That's the king of cups. This person, you may all be in the same social circle. They may know. In fact, they could be the one to tell you the truth about this other person. Okay? Yeah, see, it's a healing. See, this is energy of holding back, clearing things out. Could be, honestly, it could be them coming around here. Like I say, just about when you're ready to give up, all of a sudden this person comes in. So some of you, it's all the same person. See, manifesting, being careful of anyone who manipulates. See? Call them out, talk to them, be discerning. 
Uh, but most of you are manifesting this new person. And I do see uh, positive. See, there you are, the birth of something new. You're open. Letting somebody know. Let, you're going to let this new person know you're open. So this is your choices in love here. And you're choosing to love yourself first and foremost. Uh, and I feel it's when you're ready. Okay, you're going to. Because you, there is still a few things to overcome here. You're almost there. Okay, you're almost there. See, you're doing some inner work focusing on work and money, you have a lot to offer. So this is where you're preparing yourself to make sure you have uh, everything that you need to offer uh, exactly what you put out you want in return, you see? Um, not exactly, but you want to make sure that you want to build and you want someone who puts in the effort. So you're willing to, but you're open only to somebody who puts in the effort and wants to build with you. So I, I feel like this is really powerful for you. Those of you who, who have healed, you're almost there. Like literally one more wand. So you know, that could be a month, could be a year, but it feels sooner. Like I, I feel like things are moving faster. This slow moving energy is cycles coming to an end. A lot of you have been just focused on money. So there's the cycle. <laughs> yeah, you got love coming in. There's the word love. You have love coming towards you. See, the book. So this is doing things by the book, being wise, making sure this person comes in right. Okay, it has to do with commitment and marriage. Uh, it has to do with society's rules that they play fair. See, come to me right. You're no longer giving. Uh, you're no longer going to indulge anybody uh, until they offer you what it is, you know, the stability. So there's the queen. You are the empress energy. I feel like some of you have really worked hard here. So, yeah, somebody going to come in that wants to build with you. You're going to know, okay? Because I, you, the empress knows. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. So there's some communication coming in. See the bicycle? So this is the wheels turning. Things are starting to move here. And uh, a lovely. So we have an H. There's music. So uh, sometimes it's a note. Somebody may, you may connect with this person someplace. They may give you a note or you may connect through music. See the bird is communication. So there's the swan. This is where you know your worth and your value. You see? I see an H, two H's and a D. Uh, I see the butterfly. There's the transformation. This is your healing. This is where you, it's something that's changing you forever. But honestly, it's for the good because now you know, okay? Now you're wiser. So there it is, mating for life, the seahorse. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And we have two hearts. Yeah, you got love coming in. Oh, look at that, two people. Uh, transformation so you and another person could with the manifesting you could mirror each other you could both have been through the same thing um, possibly but there's this the butterfly is this beautiful transformation and you are becoming the empress okay okay this is what this is what you need to work on is not giving this is likely what you need is to stop giving being so kind and generous waiting letting someone drain your energy give yourself time to heal to replenish as well i feel this person's in the same energy so yeah yeah there's the strength see this is you getting back your strength and your confidence taking your power back so you're much stronger uh, a lot wiser a lot smarter you've learned a lot with that empress or with the uh, queen of swords energy there's love coming in it's going in your favor this old cycle is over this person's not coming back Okay, or you're not going to let them come back. They may try, but you're not a pushover anymore, you see. Yeah, you're going to let love in though. See, there's the gift. See, you've learned something, some valuable lessons. There's uh, some kind of a gift here as well with the bow. All neat and tidy. It's the end of a long journey for you. So really nice. I do see a lot of um, energy at the musical note. Now, like I say, you may have that in common, creative, you know, you know creative writing, a note. Uh, someone may leave you a note. It may be very creative, but it could be connecting through music. Uh, I see bicycles too. So, yeah, you might meet this person just out riding a bike or on your way home from work. It could be that simple. That's how the timing works. When the timing is right, you may have met someone when the timing wasn't right. Yeah, you've got... You've got a king of swords here, see? Someone's thinking about you, strategizing, planning, analyzing the situation. Very smart, see? This is about two people. The magician, you're going to connect through communication. Some way you communicate, 
okay? That's how you're gonna meet this person. Now, it could be an educational experience, whatever the situation, um, but it's two people who communicate that are on the same page. You're gonna get each other, where this other person, uh, I feel not so much, you see? Little Virgo, somebody who's an introvert, you know? You got somebody who's a little bit introverted here. Um, technically just like to keep their feelings to themselves. Um, I don't think this person really wants a commitment. Even if they have, have love, they will not commit, okay? That's the way I feel about them. So, wise choices. I wish you the best, Libra. I feel like you're so close. <laughs> See, and I, you know, with that, sorry to go on here, but it pops into my head, I have to give you the message. Now, now this energy of this person, win or lose, this is to do with this person as well. They're very wise. They're analyzing the situation. You see, this is somebody who is confident in a decision they're about to make too. That's what you want. This person is not, you see. Yeah, this person also, though, I feel like there, there's a the connection is, is they um, are pinned down by their thoughts as well. So this is someone healing, I feel, from another situation. So that's where I feel like you've got something in common with them that you're likely going to talk about um, and you're going to manifest each other here magician energy but someone here i feel has integrity okay someone has integrity they'll tell you what their intentions are this other person not so much that's the problem they manipulate so really be wise see this is how someone conducts themselves a little more traditional you see you're going to be on the same page you're going to get each other similar lifestyle too so there's something about your lifestyle that you may connect with this person but you got two hearts intertwined there's love coming in take care on this journey and we'll see you soon